واختم لنا بالخير وجعل واقف أمور كلنا إلى الخير وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين to Ghazni and there is a couple projects that we're gonna see. One is the hospital road and a bus station road and then we will meet with the mayor or the governor of Ghazni. <laughs> We started the first 20 kilometer of the road from Razni to Gardez and also the demining people are working on it to demine the area. No, I, I think it's a, it, what they're doing here, they're serving for the culverts, for the box, a big structure we're gonna have here. They get the elevations and then it will, we will determine the elevation of the uh, surface of the road. Are you? This is Ali, is a project manager for, uh, for this project. So you're all here to yes. participate in this project? We are trying to help. Okay. The miners were on the way doing the initial search. Okay. Maybe they were gonna find something. Right. Maybe it is more sensitive to the mines that machinery. Yeah. And they have got an handless instrument in the dogs, but in front of them. Welcome <laughs> Again. <laughs> There's a lot of people wondering what the PRTs are about, if they're working. It's a new concept that you guys know. As um, the, the commander of the PRT, maybe you could tell us a little bit about sure, that's the, no uh, the PRT and the interaction. Uh, I work with Governor Asadula. Okay. We look and see what the needs are, what priorities of the provincial governor are. Uh, we work together with uh, other government agencies. We have a Department of State representative, a USAID representative, and what we're trying to do uh, here is to coordinate these efforts to you know, provide the maximum benefit of reconstruction to Afghanistan. So you're saying that when it rains, the water goes up to three, more than three meters when it's flooding, so it would be a really good idea to have a protection over here. Right now we have got uh, engineers and foremans and some technical stuff and, and we have got uh, around about 50 local staff uh, employed here on these projects. So this stuff's really going to help show the interaction um, and the impact. So. The governor decided to make sure that lighting was put out on the road. This used to be a place that was you know, all dirt, trash everywhere. And now you have a nice, safe place for people to catch their buses to go up to Kabul or head down to Kandahar. USAID went to their side, procured the funding for that to pay for the paving of the road and also for the building of the area for the uh, Kandahar bus station. We pull our efforts together, we work as a team, and the results are a better life for the people of Afghanistan.
سرگاه خیلی خراب بود فهمیدی باز سرگاه الحمدلله این خیلی خوب شده از قندهار تا کابل سرگاه پخته شده سرگاه ان شاء الله درست میشه درست شه باز خوب است از قندهار اون طرف راه خراب است طرف هرات خراب است ان شاء الله که اونم درست کنه مردم ما خیلی خوب میشه we have a lot of dust here. So anywhere where we can hard surface a road, even if it's not completely asphalt paved, it greatly improves the ability for transit, for trade, for people just getting to jobs, visiting their families. The hospital road is just another common sense thing. The road that was there before, uh, a patient in an ambulance could die just from the ride yeah. down to the hospital there. So paving that uh, it was a very good idea. از اشارات دیگه بسیار زیاد بود و حال فعلا بسیار خوب است یعنی بالکل پاک شده همه چیز و واقعا واقعا جای خوشبختی است که ما در ولایت خود بود از چندین سال ما سرک پخته شده خوب معلوم دار که برای ما خوب شده ما خوشحال هستیم از این تشکر میکنیم از دیالات مدایده امریکا که اینه کمک کردن سرک ما رو جور کردن و امیدوار هستیم در آن نو رود است خوب؟ آه، 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 If you talk to the Afghan people, the priorities that you always hear are roads, water, and power. One of the things USAID will be doing is putting a lot more emphasis on using local contractors in all of our work. همین شهر غزنین کرد و خاک زیاد داشتن این سرک هم خراب بوده حالا فعلا سرک درست شده اگر تمام مثلا با سازی افغانستان هم توی پیش بودن امشالا که افغانستان بازی جور میشه و مردم ما میتونه راحت زندگی کنه این در فیوچر ما لکنگ ات مور هیومن ریسورس دیولپمنت سمال ترینگ پروژیکس لوکیشنل ترینگ اسیستنگ سکولز، هلت افیشلز و ادرس ویت امپروینگ در کیپبیلیتیز او در پروید Ghazni Road is a great example of how foreign assistance benefits people in their everyday lives.